Does Bob Knight have to be at the helm? Is that what has to happen here? Was Bob Knight that big of a difference maker for Indiana University? Indiana lost last night to Rutgers basketball. Hey, I like Steve Peichel. Great team, great guy, blah, 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 blah. Not a great team. But Ron Harper Jr. steps into a three, drills it. Indiana loses. I don't know whether they're going to make the tournament. Hell, it's almost impossible not to make the tournament when you are at Indiana. I mean, it literally is almost impossible. Like, at Indiana, you play so many teams that all you got to do is beat a couple. Indiana is actually in the hunt, like, first four out, according to Lenardi, and they've only beaten Ohio State and Purdue and Notre Dame that are any good. Like, they've beaten all kinds of teams in their own conference that are crap. It's almost impossible, and Indiana hasn't made it in six effing years. Is Bob Knight that important? I mean, do we have to go bring a, his carcass out from his house, you know, where he's at right now, battling health issues, and sit him there for Indiana to win a, a freaking game? I mean, explain it to me. I can explain it to you. You got no heart in that program. There's no heart on that team. Do you know how hard it is for me to say that? I know this is a national show. I know those of you out there, a lot of you don't care about Indiana. But sometimes a host just got to get some shit off his chest. And I feel like I do this with IU basketball once every two weeks. How is it possible that Indiana University men's basketball team has such players with such mentalities. Look, they, Indiana was bad my senior year, but hell, we were kicking guys off. I mean, it was a mess, but at least there was a, I don't know, kind of, sort of an excuse. But my God, this is just, I, are you watching and you're going, well, you know, uh, these lousy ass players, and I know we're not allowed to say lousy ass players. Like in my day, that's all you heard was how sh** you were as a player. But now these are just kids. No, these are just little babies. No, they're lousy-ass players in Indiana with no heart, none, zero, zip. We got guys that are coming in as fifth-year seniors that are more worried about the NIL and their little vlog. What the f*** is a vlog? Explain a vlog to me. Oh, well, I'm going to do my video blog. Shut up. How about you get on a team, you fit into a team, and you try to win an effing game? Well, I'm going to do my NIL. Then I got mommies on Twitter saying, play my son. Your son sucks. It isn't always on the coach, ladies and gentlemen. And don't give me the crap that these are just kids. I wasn't a kid. I wasn't a kid when my ass got ripped in the Indy Star for turning the ball over the NCAA tournament. I wasn't a kid. Alford wasn't a kid. Woodson, the coach, wasn't a kid. All of a sudden, everybody's a kid. Shut up. I live in the real world. I live in a world where 18-year-olds can smoke, 18-year-olds can go to war. Shut up with the kid. If you're good enough and tough enough to get to Indiana, you ain't a normal kid. Yeah, kids are the little fat kids sitting in the basement watching a video game going, Mom, 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 I just lost my Pokemon at 20 years old. Those are kids. Oh, no, to play at Indiana, you got to walk like a man. And these dudes at Indiana don't walk like men. How many years can you get your ass beat at Indiana with 17,200 whatever every night where you're an absolute freaking rock star? And this isn't the phony rock star stuff. This is your legit rock star because the state of Indiana loves basketball. I was going to make an analogy there, but I don't want to get in trouble. So Indiana last night does what these clowns that play basketball at Indiana do. Get their ass beat. Six years. And I was one of those clowns. Don't get me wrong. Back, Hey, I felt like in 1985, my team was shitty. Didn't make the tournament. I know from what I speak. 
I'm not calling out the players because I'm just mad at players. I knew back in my day when we did not play well, the players didn't play well. I also knew when we whooped Michael Jordan's ass in the NCAA tournament, Bob Knight didn't have jack squat to do with it. So it is on the players. You want to win players. Hey, last night, uh, guess what? Coming down the court, Ron Harper Jr., whap. Yeah, that's the what players do. Drive you nuts. Now, I understand. Just drive you freaking nuts. As a former player. See, other former players at Indiana that were there three or four years, they're just like, well, I just want to be nice because, you know, I get my tickets. I don't give a shit if I ever go to another Indiana game, if that's the way they're going to play. I went to one game. They played great. For some reason, they made me wear a mask. I don't know why. I'll show you a picture of your all's, your all's beloved president in a minute. But Indiana, my ass, it's on my TV right now. 63-63. Ron Harper gets the ball. He dribbles it up the court. He's going to stop. He's going to pop as an Indiana player backs up. Just backs up. This is where the difference is. And this is why I don't give a rat's ass about mommies and daddies. Let me tell you what would have happened when Indiana was actually good. At 12.01 p.m. last night, Indiana would have been practicing under Bob Knight. Guys might have quit. Mommies might have called. Daddies might have whined. Handlers might have called. Doesn't matter. Now all you got is excuses. Just back up and let a guy drill a three. I'm sorry, this rant's going too long, but I've had enough. I mean, watching this will make your head peel. See? My head is peeling. It'll make your head peel. And I'm not even as hot as I could be. I'm just a little hot today. But the bullshit of Indiana, now, it's gotten me nuts. Like, I watched Creighton. You know what Creighton did last night? Let me go through some games for you last night. Here came UConn. UConn comes into Creighton. UConn, a team that's won national championships. You know, you know what Creighton did? They won the freaking game. You know what Indiana did? They got beat. Florida State, Notre Dame comes into Florida State. You know what Florida State has dealt with? They've lost like half their team. They've lost half their team. Notre Dame's all right. Hell, Indiana's already beaten Notre Dame. You know, what, you know what happens when Notre Dame comes into Florida State? You know what happens? Florida State beats them. You know what happens when Rutgers comes into Indiana? Rutgers beats Indiana. Why is Rutgers, excuse me, why is uh, Creighton, why is Florida State, oh yeah, by the way, let me give you St. Frickin' John's who stinks. Indiana's already beaten St. John's. At one point, Xavier was a top 25 team. So Xavier comes into St. John's last night. You know what happens to Xavier? They get their ass beat. They get their ass beat. So what does Indiana do? This bastion of basketball. Mike Woodson talks in the third person when they hire, and I love Woody. But he said, well, you know, if you want to get Mike Woodson, then you've got to fly Mike Woodson and meet with Mike Woodson face to face. Yeah? Really? All right. 